Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Kettles, tea stars, you're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So I'm not gonna make this video too long, but I am gonna post some old clips if you guys want to check them out at the end of this video. And shout out to Millie Chun because that's where I got this video from. But it looks like Slarion decided to show us Mill's baby mama legs. <laughs> And what did I say in my last video? She's very pressed about everything that I say over here on my channel because she's an old hat. And she let that fool play her and he's still playing her and we still laughing at you, ho. So that's cute. You showed us his legs. We saw his legs too on Love and Marriage Huntsville when he was in a room with his ex-wife. And in plenty of other scenes when he was with his ex-wife. And in plenty of other pictures when he was with his ex-wife. So ho, it remains, like I said in my last video, after 10 years, what else do you have to offer other than his legs and arms? Ho. See, ho, you think you slick, but I'm slicker. What I'm trying to get you to do is completely different from what you're trying to do, ho. You trying to make me feel some type of way, I guess, or make the bloggers and the fans feel some type of way. And that's the thing. We don't feel any type of way. We don't actually care. We are actually laughing at the fact that it's been this long and you're still giving us videos and pictures that'll get him, what, divorced? I want you to, like I said in my last video, post up in a photo with him give us a family photo with you him and baby sloth see you giving us photos that'll ruin his marriage i need photos that'll dismantle his career we ain't the same ho you small in on it okay i'm thinking high end I'm thinking big, bitch, something you need to be doing. Because if you was a smart bitch, then you would go ahead and post the photos with you and his face together, just like you've been doing when he was married to the woman. Now that he divorced, almost like he embarrassed to be with you. You don't want to give us any of the photos with y'all face to face together, side by side, that you were taking when he was married. And I think that's so odd and it's very telling of what type of hoe you are. So again, another one bites the dust, bitch. Because let me get you some free game if you were smart you would go ahead and tell him to take that good old photo with you so you can break that rear on down to where he can't really do nothing else but marry you once you post a picture of y'all do a family picture listen to me ho i'ma put you up on game because you dumb you keep giving us these side shots and it ain't doing nothing for you clearly you can't really monetize so i'ma show you what to do ho and after 10 years if he won't at least allow you to do this then <laughs> But like I said, here's the instructions, ho. Get that side-by-side -side photo. But look, a major one for the internet would be with you a video rolling over in the bed and put his face in it. Say, good morning, Holt. And then have him say, good morning, Slarion. Have him give you one of them stank breath kisses. And that, my friend, will blow the internet up. Not only would it blow the internet up, it'll dismantle his career because ain't nobody gonna really want to work with him now that he done truly attached himself to the side broad. Now granted, you might think this is bad for you, but it's not, it's not. Once he realized it's not gonna be no more work for him, he's finally gonna settle down with you. And he's gonna truly see he messed up and don't nobody want his ass but you. Cause he don't know that don't nobody want his ass but you. But I'm telling you, ho, this the way to do it so boom he gonna go months without work and or maybe even years without work and then you can finally he gonna finally propose to you you can finally pop out with that picture with the ring and boom you're gonna blow the internet up again and you might finally finally 
finally get your show ho now i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up but definitely zeus so take my advice ho that's the best i got for you i don't see how else this really gonna work out but if you want to continue with the side shots i feel you i feel you i understand you got the second best face you can only play your role i know that you're probably waiting on him to get with another woman so you can feel better about yourself because it makes you feel better to be in competition with another woman versus having your own because although you keep going on the internet talking about he's never going to leave you babe he's never going to respect you either and of course he's never going to leave you if he struggle you struggle if he suffer you suffer that's how narcissists work so while we continue laughing at you and making money off you i hope you continue giving us content bye because your life is a disaster and we want to follow it just so we can make sure the karma really settles and then we want to follow it just so we can see paris make her tell all book once baby slaw truly learned how to deal with his emotions and articulate himself he too will then maybe feel the need to give us a tell all now maybe the churn will profit a little bit off this situation but you ho you ho a never profit off this situation unless you take my advice i'm telling you because Mel's baby mama gonna forever hold you down. You have to forever be up under him. And if you ever want to gain some ground, that's the way to do it. I can't tell you nothing else if you don't want to listen to that. Other than that, you a loser, ho. And I love that you love showing us how much of a loser that you really are. And next time, before you go to one of your little outside gathering meetups trying to prove something to somebody, let the people know when you going prior to getting there. If you really want to be famous so the girls can get their phones ready, all right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you can be up to date each and every time that I upload. Like, I just had to call you and let you know about my baby daddy because I just could not believe me. Like, I, I just cannot believe, like, he, but you know what? I, that, I, I couldn't see, I couldn't see what everybody was seeing all these years, but Martel been doing me like this. This ain't nothing new for him. He thought he was going to keep Ariana Huntsville, keep dealing with me. He was going to be doing whatever, moving however that don't want to be with her but he is going to do it for whatever the case may be but don't want to leave ariana alone but you can't have your cake and eat it too mister they room is on neighborhood town ariana made me blog blog last night I could, it, it was on Shade Room within 20 minutes of me staying and shit guess that looks so embarrassing for charade oh yeah. my god yeah. hey. what's up mm -hmm. he never even emailed me i would that wouldn't even happen martel but then you got back you got in your feelings you tried to call my phone <laughs> You think that I done changed that number on your ass. So now you fix it. Yeah. You have to get my attention somewhere. Wrong way, nigga. Because mm -hmm. Ariana blasted you. And, I, and mind you, my close friends is probably like my friend friends, like my sister. Like, I've been feeling them all the tea. Like, I can phone wreck everything they've been seeing. No, not, but he's not a bad guy. That's the thing about it. Like, like I, I, I hate that me and him is like, because I fuck with my baby daddy. Obviously, I do. It's been so long. I've been dealing with this nigga. I see a side of him that y'all will never, ever see. I hate that his life is a martel. You will not continue to disrespect me. I am about to be 32. I am a woman of over two children now. You don't think that I deserve to be with somebody, be happy, and somebody with me and my kids, and you want to just play with me? And, like, that disgusts me that my baby daddy is that selfish about me. That is me. You really thought you was about to go go on and do all this if you was your... Boy, bitch, no. I don't know why he's doing all the extra shit, but I don't know if he filmed with her. I, I can't say if he did or if he didn't, but I know that um, when Martel ain't got his kids, that week he's born. So he's going to always, like every other week, he's going to always do her. Cause normally it's me. And see, we got into it. Like, with, like okay, we was cool with each other, but when he left when he left my house, I was telling him, that's why I doubled back on, I'm not changing his name, because when he left my house, he told me, fuck you, because I said I wasn't changing his name, like, no, I'm not changing his name. He was okay with it being nice at the beginning, but see, then, I think at the beginning, he was still in his feelings, because, uh, like, was they even divorced yet, you know what I'm saying? See, now Mark has got a little bit more confidence, because I told him why I didn't want to ch name him, not, I mean, not, not name him Maverick. Y'all other kids got between y'all. Y'all both got, like, that was between a marriage. You're supposed to not look bad as fuck. You'll never, he gets knocked. He'll get knocked. He'll get knocked when the kids get out. And he, and sometimes weekends over there. Like, I'm not, people take that the wrong way. Martel knew what the fuck I was talking about. I want him to get knocked Monday to Monday like you got them other kids. And I want my week free. He told me, hey, I don't know. He said five kids is too much. Nah.
Yeah, I pull up roto windows, honey. I pull up roto windows, honey. Yeah, I pull up roto windows, honey. Oh, <laughs>